Question 17. Solve 4x subtract 1 over 5, add x plus 4 over 2 equals 3. There are quite a few ways that we can do this, but the key goal is to remove the denominators of our algebraic fractions. The way I'm going to do that is to multiply by a common multiple of 5 and 2. That way it will remove both of these values. So the lowest common multiple of 5 and 2 is 10. So we're going to multiply the whole thing by 10. So the top of our less left fraction becomes 10 times 4x minus 1 divided by 5. Our next fraction would become 10 times x plus 4 divided by 2. And on the right, we've got 3 times 10, which is 30. If we simplify this now, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that's 2 lots of 4x take away 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that's 5 times x plus 4 is all equal to 30. Now this could also be done through cross multiplication, but by multiplying everything by 10, we remind ourselves that the answer also has to be multiplied by both of these values. Next step would be to expand the brackets and simplify so that we can actually solve this equation. So 2 times 4x is 8x, 2 times negative 1 is minus 2, and 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 4 is 20, and that's still equal to 30. Gather all your terms together, so 8x add 5x gives me 13x. 18 take away, no, 20 take away 2 is 18, and that's equal to 30 still. And then take away 18 from both sides, so we end up with 13x is equal to 20. 12. Now, to find out what x is equal to, we have to divide by 13, which means you have 12 over 13 as your final answer.